All right, next we got Chi Chi. Birthday, March 3rd. Affiliated with Boo Boo Pharmacy with a cryo vision. An apprentice and herb gatherer at Boo Boo Pharmacy. An undead with a bone white complexion. She seldom has much in the way of words or emotions. Very interested to see how Chi Chi died. That's like the number one thing I'm most invested in. I assume her like being turned into a zombie has something to do with the adept die who saved her, which I think it was Ganyu based on like a number of factors. The fact that Chi Chi is looking for a Coca Go, the fact that Chi Chi has a cryo vision and Ganyu has a cryo vision and Ganyu is also an adept die. All of those things kind of culminate. Also, is Chi Chi's vision in her hat? Oh, that's cool. I never noticed that actually. I never noticed that. Like, yeah, her vision's on the side of her hat right there. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. And like, obviously, I'm interested to see like her affiliation with Dr. Baizu and Boo Boo Pharmacy and all that other stuff too. So, uh, we're going to read her story stuff here. Character details. Due to being a zombie, Chi Chi lacks facial expressions. She hopes that's okay. <laughs> she may look like a zombie, but she's surprisingly limber due to a strict calisthenic regimen. Her memory is poor. She forgets easily. And that is partially why she can seem cold to others. Her appearance is forever frozen at the point of her- Wait, her appearance is forever frozen at the point of her passing. So estimates of her age are unreliable. Wait, so she died as like a kid? So she doesn't age? Zombies require order to act, but due to some reason or another, Chi Chi is presently giving herself orders. Interesting. Character story one. Usually zombies are cold and stiff, which forces them to locomote by hopping about. We haven't seen zombie zombies in this game yet, so I it's very weird. I wonder if we'll see any type of like necro necromancy or anything of the sort as the game progresses. As such, Chi Chi keeps up a calisthenic regimen to retain a human-like form. The 77th generation director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Hu Tao, doesn't see the point of this at all. Whenever she meets Chi Chi, she will say, it would be easier if you just let me bury you. Yeah, so they don't, I don't think Chi Chi likes Hu Tao very much because Hu Tao is trying to put her in the ground and end her life. And like, imagine that. Imagine if there was a way to just turn everyone into a zombie like Chi Chi, Hu Tao would be out of business. So I, I kind of get that dynamic. That's funny. Chi Chi, of course, has no wish to be buried and so conducts her exercises at night when no one's about. Chi Chi's memory falls far below those of non-dead dispositions. If she does not continue to reinforce her impressions of someone, she will completely forget them in three days tops. That is so wholesome because uh, her birthday message to you is that like, if she remembers your birthday, like she remembers, like if she thinks about it every day, she'll be able to remember our birthday forever. So that's like really, that's like really like impactful to the fact that like, it's for us over everything that she'll forget in three days will be remembered forever. But who knows, this might be a good thing for a person with painful memories forgetting may in fact be a form of release. Person Chi Chi must remember most, not only does this person have a very punchable face, <laughs> but also shows up every single day. As such, Chi Chi isn't too concerned about her poor memory. A punchable face. That's uh, that's in, that's a very interesting way to describe somebody. Damn, Chi Chi's about to, Chi Chi Hu Tao, dude. Fire versus ice. That's great. That's really funny. Character story two. Chi Chi is very petite indeed, but is in fact a very powerful zombie. Her short stature is hardly any impediment, but is instead good for high speed movement. In combat, Chi Chi will unleash the self-control that she usually maintains allowing her body to return to an undead state, increasing her strength and speed. You're dead. Once she has stoically defeated her enemies, Chi Chi will once again get her muscles under control, returning to her no- That's fucking scary. What the hell? She just goes like undead. She like changes her state of being. Oh my gosh, returning to her normal state. She has been threatened in the past by treasure hoarders while picking berries by herself. Now a little girl all by herself seems like an easy target, no? Who would have thought that this girl could send the whole crew flying? This is why we should always remember never judge a person based on appearance or a zombie for that matter. Uh, zombies mostly require orders from a person who's awakened them to move. But strictly speaking, Chi Chi has never been awakened. As such, she counts as a very rare case of a zombie that gives itself orders. If these orders are simple ones like defeat the enemy, Chi Chi has no problem fulfilling them. But when faced with complex instructions such as go to Joy and Cars, climb the sheer rock face and pick herbs, Chi Chi sometimes winds up stick stuck below the cliff unable to give up no matter how many times she tries and fails to scale the mountain the method of canceling her order is a simple one hug chi chi from behind tell her something like i love you the most and the spell will the order will dissipate just like that unfortunately there's just no element of sincerity when baizu does it leading to greatly reduced results perhaps someday someone will come along who understands that such words cannot be spoken lightly and who slowly but carefully releases the hold that chi chi's orders has 
eyes over her. What will Chi Chi's response be then? I wonder if the person who saved Chi Chi, which resulted in her becoming a zombie, gave Chi Chi an order of like, like self aware, not self awareness, but self like uh, autonomy. Like basically was like, do your own orders and then like left or something like that. Cause like, let's just say it was Ganyu, like I'm thinking. Ganyu wouldn't be like, oh great, now I get to control this person. She would want Chi Chi to live her life. So I wonder if it's like that. I wonder if it's like, uh, an order put upon herself to to do things for herself, you know, instead of somebody else asking to. I don't know about Dr. Baizu either. I don't know if Dr. Baizu has anything to do with it, especially since he they said here that Dr. Baizu um, usually cancels her orders, but they, they don't have as much of an effect because he doesn't, you know, he doesn't say it with sincerity. So I don't really know. Character story four. This ancient story has been forgotten by mortals. An ordinary herb picking lass named Chi Chi lost her way and trespassed the realm of the Adepti, injuring her right leg in the fall she hurriedly hid in a cavern to rest. Oh, so this is like how she died, I think. Even occupied as she was bandaging her wounds, she could hear things that did not belong to the mortal plane. But she could have never expected that with a huge crash, she would forever be trapped between life and death. Whether Adepti or Demon, Just or Wicked, all understood that she was an innocent mortal caught in the crossfires. Oh, wow. Or perhaps it was all the will of heaven that she received a vision in her dying moment, and so ended the contention between Adepti and Demon. The Adepti could not bear to let her die and each imparted to her a portion of their strength, meaning to breathe life back into her body. Wait, wait, so this was like a group effort? The Adepti could not bear to let her die and each imparted to her a portion of their strength, meaning to breathe life back into her body. Chi Chi did indeed awake and live again, but went into a berserk state, unable to control the Adepti energy raging through her. Seeking to end the disruption, Mao and Shaper had no choice but to seal the hapless maiden in amber. What the hell? So she died in the crossfires between like other creatures or whatever. Adept dies and demons, whatever. She got caught up and they were like, oh shit, we fucked up. Let's try to bring her back. And then she kind of went berserk and they sealed her away. Oh, and not only that, it was fucking Mountain Shaper that did that too. Holy shit. After hundreds of years, Chi Chi was discovered by humans still trapped in the amber and was brought to Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor for burial. The Mountain roads were treacherous, however, and the amber was bu uh, was bumped about. Coupled with the passing of many years, the seal on Chi Chi was all but spent. She awakened in the middle of the night, broke the amber in secret, and fled. Following the herb picking habits of her previous life, Chi Chi headed right to right for the hills. By chance, she met Baizu, the boss of Bubu Pharmacy, on the way, and he took her in. Now Baizu was the doctor of great skill, but he hardly he was hardly the man of great caliber or great courage. Even so, he took her in, never mind that her memory was so poor that she could not even sort herbs out. It did seem that his acceptance of Chi-Chi was something to do with his own personal pursuits. Chi-Chi is stiff, but not slow, and had long realized this. However, she did not take it to heart. Perhaps she had seen too much and been alone for too long, because what tr what remains true is that she treasures his concerns, even if there are some other motives behind it. Isn't Dr. Baizu, like, sick? Isn't he- does he have, like, an illness? So maybe he's- you know, I mean, if you have like an undead being, maybe you can conduct experiments to try to find a cure for your sickness while not putting yourself in danger because you're alive. Whereas maybe, maybe that's what he's doing, you know? I mean, I don't know if that's what he's doing it for. I don't know if he's like a nefarious individual, but that's the first thing that I think of. It's like, holy shit, this person just literally crossed paths with me. They're like a perfect specimen or like research subject or experiment subject to test out his medicine to see what'll work for him. And, uh, you know, also Chi Chi is kind of like, like a, a great like link to like potential immortality i mean i get it her most of her essence comes from adepti you know what i mean that's why like most of all of her her skill and her elemental burst is adeptus art because she's infused with the elemental energy with the adeptal energy of the the adepti that saved her i wonder if it was like mountain shaper moon carver cloud retainer ganyu i don't know how many of the adepti that we know that had a hand in bringing her back but they said each so madam ping zhao ganyu you know i think that would be really cool of all of them pitched in. A home and away handbook of practical wisdom for the undead. Chi Chi carries something with her that looks like a notebook. Chi Chi's memory is very poor, so it is an object of irreplaceable importance if she is to smoothly go about her daily life. The words within are written in a century old style and are very elegant indeed. The first page is an, is an instructional on calisthenics. Moving past that, one finds the description of various herbs and some orders. Chi Chi needs to give herself orders, so she has very precise instructions to ensure smooth transition. 
positions. She has also dutifully written down all the things she needs to do in a day. Recently, she's also added a section on brain training and mnemonic methods. At this point, it is becoming a true dummies guide on just about anything. But what if the day ever comes when Chi Chi also forgets to look at the notebook? There would truly be nothing for it then. Yeah, that's pretty scary. That's like her lifeline. That's like her lifeline book to kind of live and be functional. Yeah, Chi Chi's great, man. Chi Chi's awesome. It's so unfortunate. Like her life, like, and then she just dies, gets resurrected, gets sealed for hundreds of years. And in the world that she lives in now, she knows nobody, nobody, like she knows nothing, completely different world, no family, no relatives, no nothing. I don't even know if she really can express herself properly, like emotions, right? Like she speaks very mon monotonous as well. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I could hardly say if she's even like truly living. And then she got her vision at the moment of right before she died, like at the moment of her death, Chi Chi's vision was given to her on the last moments of her life. She wanted to stop the clock from turning. She wanted to live happily again. She feared death. She wanted to live. She missed her family. These feelings co coalesced at last into ice. If only I could freeze time, how wonderful would that be? As she thought thus, tears fell from the, from the moribund girl's eyes upon the vision that had appeared before her. The mighty and illuminated adepti all acknowledge this as a legitimate form of illumination. The yearning of humanity for bygone days is, after all, a desire to protect that past. So she got a vision and she was blessed with illuminated adepti powers like uh, energy damn that's a struggle man let's get into her voiceovers i am chi chi i am a zombie <laughs> this is in a trailer and i forgot what comes next hey do you know what <laughs> uh neither do i i Already forgot. Already forgot. Oh, uh, man, I miss Chi Chi as well. Chi Chi was a character that I got to Friendship Ted very early on in my playthrough as well. So I, I miss her dearly too on my team. Let's go somewhere cooler. Oh, I get it. Because she's a zombie. So, you know, you want to stay ice cold. You know, she's got a cryo vision too. Makes sense. One, two, three, four, two, <laughs> two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. I like that. Um, yeah, I was just thinking too, like Chi Chi and Kaching are like some of the five star characters, if not the only five star characters that don't have story quests. And they both were involved in the Li Wei story to a very insignificant degree, which is almost which is almost insulting. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know what they could do to give Chi Chi more of a prominent like role, especially as a character quest. Maybe tap a little bit into her past, her involvement, maybe get Dr. Baizu involved. I don't know if he's going to be a four star or a five star character. I think that'd be pretty cool. But um, but yeah, I think it, like obviously Kaching was in the Liu storyline, but even her too. Like I feel like she has a lot of potential if they just give her the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Chi Chi. So we'll just have to wait and see on that, I guess. I forgot my umbrella again. Uh. I want to build a snowman. Do you want to build a Will snowman? Ah, oh, damn that. That's some frozen vibes right there. Are you here to build a snowman too? Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. I should have stayed indoors today. The wind is frigid. I like it. I really wish Mihoyo made it so Chi Chi was impervious to sheer cold. Like if you had a Chi Chi, if you manage to pull and use Chi Chi and you go to Dragon Spine, you are impervious to sheer cold. I really wish that they implemented that for her, like as an exclusive passive after Dragon Spine came out. Cause that's like one of the first things I thought, cause I used Chi Chi when I went to Dragon Spine and I was like, oh, you know, Chi Chi's already dead. So that would be kind of cool if they just didn't, if it just didn't affect her cause she's already a zombie. And they were just like, nope, nope, no immersion, immersion ruined. Hold my hand, please. This wind could blow me away. Morning means it's time to check my diary. Because my diary reminds me what I'm supposed to do in the morning. I just remembered something. I forgot to help Dr. Baiju prepare medications. Good evening. <laughs> How was your day? My day was... Uh, I think. Fine. <laughs> I think. But... Aw, oh, poor thing. I can't remember. God, not remembering is so scary. It's time for you to sleep now. I will do my stretches. Do not watch me, please. One, two, three, and... Mm, yeah, I see those enough. Did you ask me something? Sorry. I forgot. I have a poor memory for most things. <laughs> but as far as I know... That doesn't matter. I started memory training exercises recently. So, 
Don't worry. I won't forget who you are. Aww, I appreciate that. My vision can't turn back time, but at least it gives me the power to protect the people that matter most. That's so wholesome. Oh my god. I may be a corpse, but I am in much better physical condition than uh, Dr. Baiju. Damn, she's like, I'm dead and even I'm in better condition than that man. That's a, I don't know if that's uh is that a roast? Did she just roast Dr. Baiju? Sometimes I see finches near the pharmacy. A nice little group of finches. Bro, there it is. On the 1,000 questions with Paimon, I got that wrong because I didn't know what her favorite animal was. Like, what animal she would want as a pet. It was like a tortoise, a squirrel, something else, and finches. And I got it wrong three times before I figured out that it was the finches. But if I had re if I had done this sooner, I would have known. But that's pretty cool to actually know. So she likes birds. She likes finches. Yo, she likes birds. We're, we're one in the same. I can never remember, Doc. Dr. Baiju's face. Oh. But I don't mind. That's not good. Don't you see him every day? How do you not remember the man? You remember Hu Tao more than you remember your boss. Warm. Fake smile. <laughs> Death. I despise Hu Tao. <laughs> despise that's when you know it's real she didn't even say hate it's easy to hate it's a whole nother level to despise somebody sounds like a historical artifact to me zhao remind me have i met him before i don't know maybe he was one of the uh maybe he was one of the adepti who helped you uh who damn Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's a roast. That's a fuck. She just ended Shin Yan's whole career right there. Who, who's that? Who's Shin Yan? <laughs> no one knows who Shin Yan is. Not relevant. No one uses her. Oh, man. That's literally the fandom in a nutshell. Who's Shin Yan? Who? Don't worry. I'm building Shin Yan when we go to Inazuma after my Noel is Friendship 10. Cute. Like... A nice little Oh, another Yao inch. Yao. Dude, I want I I can't wait to get this character. I can't wait to learn more about this character. We haven't seen them in the game, obviously, but it's kind of cool that Miholio is like early teasing some characters that have yet to come out. Oh, Dusty Ming, what? On some nights, I almost feel like someone is doing stretches together with oh, me. Oh, that's so nice. But maybe i just have an overactive imagination wow wait does she go all the way out there to freaking the wang shu inn dusty ming was at the inn and she's the one that like took over that like that ruin hunter at that you know for that one quest so that's i wasn't expecting her to mention an npc that's kind of cool what's going on i perform stretches regularly to help me maintain the same range of movement as a normal human being mm -hmm. but as soon as i stop doing them the rigor mortis starts to set in Oh again. no. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay fit or you're gonna get stiff. Literally. Some people want to take advantage of me. Oh. Others are terrified of me. Dr. Baizu. But you, you are not like any of those people. Dr. Baizu, you better leave this girl alone. She did nothing. Since we first met, I have had a warm feeling inside. Not the kind of warmth that makes <laughs> me feel rotten the other <laughs> kind of warm uh, the one that happens inside my heart thank you i am happy Aww. sadly i only recognize the current you if i forget you Aww. no I will order myself to remember you. Damn, she's like, remember him. And it's just like, okay, I will. <laughs> you can do it, me. In the past, Aww. my only thought was, I must stay alive. Even though I didn't know what to live for. But now, Aww. I think I know. I want to live with you. <laughs> I want to ask, can we always stay together for the rest of life? Ah. Until death? Yes or no? This is too much. Yes? Is that your real answer? Yes! Good. Let's go! Excellent. 
I promise to always protect you. God, man, that's too wholesome, dude. Chi Chi was my first healer to Friendship 10, so I like, I take that like really personally. Like, people shit on, people talk so much shit about Chi Chi because she's not like a busted five star that maximizes absolute OP mega damage that you can do like crazy damage like Bennett or any other character. I like, all right, stop talking shit about Chi Chi. Let her live, all right? She's a good character. I want to have a pet. For example, a nice little fin. Okay, so the last one was just she was interested in finches. This one confirms that she wanted finches as a pet. Okay, I my I still stand by what I said before. I don't know why, but high temperatures make me feel <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, I think that would be for any corpse. I like coconut milk, uh but. I don't know <laughs> what it tastes like. Yeah, the cocoa goat. Yeah, the coconut milk. That's so funny. Sorry. I have no idea. Oh, she doesn't dislike food. Now I have more power. But what does that mean? Please explain. Ah, I understand. When I get stronger, I need to put more effort into controlling my strength. In the past... I did not understand the idea of being stronger than I already was. Now that I understand it well, I wish I was just a little stronger still. So this one I do not have because my Chi Chi is only level 80. I, I would have to ascend her, which I still don't have. Uh, I don't have the gemstones. So unfortunately, we're not going to get her her final dialogue for ascension. But I think for the most part, we got all of like the lore things uh, out of Chi Chi that was that was worthwhile. So I, I really like that. Yeah, Chi Chi super wholesome, man. Um, I'm, I'm actually glad to actually know the, the nature. And, and how she died. I always thought it was Ganya because like the association with Cryo and all that, but the fact that she wanted to freeze time to prevent herself from dying makes a lot of sense for Cryo, which also freezes. I just hope that Mihoyo gives her like a five-star quest so people can have a little bit more appreciation for Chi-Chi. I know a lot of people uh, criticize her for not being, for being the worst five-star character because, oh, you need to have Chi-Chi on the field to get the most out of her, her... Actually, you don't even really need Chi-Chi on the field for anything. She's no, She's not really any different than any other healer you know what i mean you pop her skill you pop her ult yeah you, you auto attack someone then you switch to another character if you want them to be healed you know you can get a little bit of superconduct if it's electro a little bit of melt if it's pyro a little bit of swirl if it's animo but um i mean everyone's free to you know voice their opinions but i had a blast with using chi chi early on in the game my chi chi wasn't the best uh because i also didn't prioritize artifacts back then but i nonetheless used her to from the time i used her to friendship 10 absolutely loved her i don't know i'd love to see her in the qu the story quests again i don't know if that's a possibility but i definitely think uh, a story quest with her and kaching who is the next character uh is definitely overdue so overall really liked how how chi chi's storyline turned out for me